Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I decided to put heat transfer vinyl on a ceramic cup. So this is just a ceramic cup you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and essentially where I got this idea from was I seen on Pinterest that you can put heat transfer vinyl on a cup and it becomes dishwasher safe. So I decided to try it. So I'm gonna just put some alcohol on a paper towel and just wipe down the cup. This is just something I do Anytime I'm working with like a cup or a mug or a jar or anything, you know, just to make sure the surface doesn't have any kind of oils or anything on it that could prevent a superior adhesion. So I'm just and I'm wiping down the inside, even though you got to wash the cup before you actually use it. So I have this gold heart and these black uh, letters that say hustle and heart. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I wanted to try letters and shapes. And so this is just what i came up with the hustle and heart was already in my silhouette library and then the heart i got from the the internets um and i'm gonna use my heat gun so you can use an iron but i don't have an iron because if i need something that needs to be ironed, i just throw it in the dryer so i'm gonna just use my heat gun to uh get the the heat transfer part um to stick these on here and so you can buy like many irons and stuff like that on Amazon and I thought about buying it but I'm like oh, I'm just gonna save my ten dollars and try to do it with my heat gun because on the when I seen it on Pinterest the person that did it on that did it on Pinterest actually had bought like there's like a super mini iron that's like the size of your thumb that you can buy and you can like do these kind of things but I'm like you know what I'm gonna just give it a shot with the heat gun it's either gonna work and I'm cool or it's not gonna work and I'm gonna have to buy this little iron if I want to try this out and so I started by going in with the heat gun, just straight onto it, and it it was working, but the problem is, and I forgot from my own damn experience, that um, I usually, when I do heat transfer vinyl, I usually use, I usually use a Teflon sheet, but I didn't have any Teflon sheets because I hadn't actually done any HTV for myself recently. And so I'm like, well, what do, and usually when, if you like buy like a heat transfer from me, I send you parchment paper because a lot of people just don't have parchment paper, but I bake also. And so, cause the plastic that was on this, that starts to kind of burn up. And so to prevent it from burning up, I went and grabbed some parchment paper. So my heat gun does have two settings, like cool, hot, and hot, hot. And so I started off using the hot, hot. And this is me just trying to see if I was getting anywhere, which I was and I wasn't. So now I'm gonna go grab that parchment paper. So the parchment paper is just something that can take a lot of heat um, and direct heat. So it's good to use in these kind of situations. Like I said, you can use it in baking, you can put it in your oven, it won't burn up or anything like that. So you can see it's like, I'm I'm getting it hot quick, so it is like burning, but it's not burning through the paper. So don't be worried about that. But I'm getting really close to the parchment paper and really close to the cup. That way I can get it hot enough so that adhesive on the back melts. And it's so hot, I needed to grab my oven mitt. So that's another tip. Make sure you use your oven mitt because you're applying the heat to something like ceramic, which holds heat. It's an insulator of heat. So it's gonna hold that heat in. So you wanna make sure you're using something like an oven mitt so you don't accidentally burn yourself. And so I'm just gonna keep heating it up and seeing where I get, using my oven mitt to really apply pressure to get it that adhesion with the adhesive that's on the back of the HTV to the cup. So I'm finally, I'm like, yes, it actually does work. So you can see right here, with the exception of this piece that's not adhering, that it is adhering. So I'm just gonna go back in and apply heat in that section that wasn't adhering. And I'm actually going in on low heat. So when I start to do like the little sections like this, I'm just gonna do it on low heat. So it's more concentrated in that area and it's not scorching 
anywhere else on that HTV. And so the thing about this process, especially when you're using like a heat gun instead of an iron, is to just be patient. It's not hard to do, but, and it's not even time consuming. You just really just have to be patient with it. So just apply the heat with the parchment paper. Use your, your oven mitt and apply pressure to make sure it does adhere to the surface. And we're all good. Look at that. That's so cool. Like you can really have like HTV on a glitter, HTV on a mug. I think that's so awesome. And so I'm just going around showing you how I'm sticking my nail in it to show you that it's not moving. It is for surely adhered very well. You see that little bottom piece? It still needs a little heat. So I'm going to just go back in like I did with the side of the heart that was sticking up and just apply low heat in that area and then just apply pressure. And now you can see that little bit of heat helped it stick. It's all good. And so don't, you also don't want to poke at it right when you get it down because you could move it. So just apply the pressure and then give it a chance and it'll, it'll stick. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply the decal to the other side. And I won't talk through this. I will say that on Pinterest, it said by doing it in this method, it would be dishwasher safe. But our dishwasher had like a strange incident where something on the inside broke off and we could get it fixed, but I don't, you know, with coronavirus, I don't want anyone in my house right now. So <laughs> I'll have to prove that theory later, but um, definitely you can hand wash it and, it and it holds up and that's cool. So, you know, I'm just going to speed through this part, you guys, doing it the same way, using the parchment paper on top of it, applying high heat initially, applying pressure with the oven mitt. Also would say, like, you see how I'm holding it? Don't hold it like that because the heat gets very hot very quickly and the cup, like I said, it holds a lot of that heat. So definitely like just leave it on the counter and apply the heat because if not, you'll burn your fingers, which we don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just speed through the next part and I'll show you what the cup looks like.
All right, and this is the final product. I love the way it looks. I'm happy that I did try two different colors just so I can kind of see how they look, but I like the black and I like the gold. They give me two different looks, but I think they're both, both very nice looks. And you can see the gold is just glittering so much. It's so pretty. Just to give you a close-up so you can see, can see that at, that is Glitter HTV. And you can do this with regular HTV too. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.